all right so now we have composer initialized into the project if you have not seen that video then just go back to the part one of tutorial one of my this video series now we have in it initialized let's just go and install a kind of package dependency from uh, the packages.org so there are thousands and thousands of packages available so you can go to packages.org there are thousands and thousands of packages available from which you can select anyone you want you can search in here I am a huge fan of Laravel so I am going to search for a package illuminate support it has a lot of helper functions which are very handy for your uh, project so uh, once you click on any uh, any of the package we will see that it's a package name uh, and uh, I mean it is just a kind of company name or you can say the the package name space and then the package name down here it says it requires these dependencies internally okay but then you will think that do I need to go and install these dependency one by one and then install this? The answer is no, because Composer is actually managing everything for you. You just need to install this and Composer internally will make sure all these other dependencies are installed under the hood. So to install it, how you can do it? So uh, there are two ways in installing a package. Okay, either you can copy this command, which is Composer require illuminate support. Go in here go to your uh, project directory it will have composer.json and vendor file vendor folder if you have initialized it already now you can just paste this command alright I just did not copy it properly ok so it's saying composer to require a dependency which is illuminate support once I click something wrong in here uh, okay so now it's installing it okay and now you can you could see that these files were installed really quickly and as I said it has internal dependencies installed automatically under the hood for you so what we actually did was composer require illuminate support so we required this dependency and under the hood the composer dependency manager automatically installed these files but it took few of the seconds to just uh, download these files that's the reason because composer you know keeps these uh, uh, files into its cache so that you know it and it's loads from scratch it's clearly saying that it's loading from cache from cache because it, it's saving a lot of time and why would you download you know uh, a same kind of package for your different projects again and again when you already have it on your machine so uh, composer makes sure that it it manages everything but it also makes sure that whatever you have in the cache is not updated because there is a newer version of that package is in the packages.org and it will make sure it will download those uh, files as well and update it in the cache as well as in your folder where you are installing so now we we have installed these uh, packages let's just go into the vendor folder you would see that these packages along with what we had previously are now installed so doctrine illuminate and paragony are the packages which were installed using uh, by our required dependency now how we can use this okay so let's just go and create a file 
in the project root called as index.php all right and i am going to just uh call a function which is dd which is actually a dump and a die it's a kind of helper function which is readily available in the illuminate support package so i'm going to say here my name just a string and i'm just going to write it and i'm just going to the browser and see localhost slash let me just grab this all right so it's definitely saying that it's we are calling a function which is not defined and the reason is fairly simple that in the index.php we, we have not included any of the class files or any of a simple clip php file which actually has that function okay so let's just uh, open index.php again and let's just see how we can include that so first of the uh, for one of the first thoughts you would come to uh, my your mind is you would go to the vendor directory you you would find a class file which contains this kind of function or a, a php file as it is just a public function it is not encapsulated in a kind of class so you would go and find the php file which actually has this function mentioned in it you will do include once statement giving the path of that file and then it will work but definitely that's not the way we would want because one of the main reasons why composer was introduced uh, was you know to make the things very very much simple so composer internally wants to auto load all these packages for you what i mean by auto loading is once you are requiring a class okay you would not always want to write those long set of include statements into your P, uh, uh, php file rather composer will make sure uh, it's auto loaded for you so how you can use this function dd and how you how composer will directly call it properly so you just need to require a magic file so you can say include once vendor slash auto load dot php and now i am saving it here let's just go back to the browser and refresh and bingo you have it in here so what just happened let's just me let me just explain in within seconds auto load.php is composer's magic file which actually takes care of auto loading for you is i mean it will go and find the file which has this function and then it will you know include that file into your uh, into your php automatically I, I mean under the hood so you do not need to worry about having you know thousands and thousands of include statements all over your project it's just one simple auto loading file which will make sure it happens internally for you you can use any of the other functions as well for example uh, let's just me create a uh, names is equal to Okay. Now I'm just so what I'm actually doing is I'm calling I'm I have created a simple names array. Okay, it has strings in it, three names. I am creating a collect object, a collection object, which is, which is another you know helper functions from Laravel support. So you can you know uh, have different kind of uh, operations can be done from this on this collection object. So now I am just dumping and you know dump and die this collection and let us see what happens in the browser. Okay. Oh, 
okay i already did dump and die in here so it will not work it's like exit statement or exit or die so now let's just go back and you can see it's a collection object which has all the arrays automatically gone into that object so yeah this is a really simple example of how you can download any package and include it inside your uh, inside your uh, php file which you want to you know use those packages also if your package is not just a set of uh, helper functions but it it can be encapsulated in any of the class file for example if you go and you know install a stripe uh, php package for just for example then it's not going to have these kind of public functions open public functions all these functions will be encapsulated inside a class all right inside namespaces inside classes so then how you can call those function is fairly simple you would call for example stripe you will say the namespace stripe payment and then you can call for example create function passing all the parameters in here and once you do this you when you have this dependency installed okay you can now you know composer auto.php will internally find the exact file which requires this so it will be inside stripe payment.php and then it will include it according so you do not need to write that include statement again this will be enough this pay, uh, type payment will be enough for you and if you do not want to write this you can just use use statements which is simpler way of doing it so type slash payment as s sp type payment and you can do this and it will still work the same so i hope you have uh, you know understood the basic concepts of how you can download the packages and use auto.php to manage everything for you so thanks for your time and we will i'll see you in the next lectures happy coding